um, kind of a few things on today's live, and I'm going to start with um, unboxing an entire palette. So we're going to just do all of this. What's in it? Um, it's mostly home improvement stuff and things you need around your house, um, especially if you're updating your house. So we're going to just go through this entire palette, and then we're going to scan a couple of items on the Home Depot app so that you guys can see how much they are originally and then how much you're going to get when you buy this entire palette. So we'll just let's so go you through know, it. You guys, just so you guys know, we're doing a full one hour tour today. Everything that you might want to see in and Jack's. Everything from this unboxing to full palettes to individual items and even some toys and whatnot. So let us know. We're going to be here for a whole hour. If there's anything you guys specifically want to see, just let us know. Otherwise, you guys can start. If you want to see anything, give us a comment. If you like anything, give us a little heart reaction. Um, if you don't like anything, then... Give us an angry face. To give us an angry face. Tell I me don't what want you an like. angry face. So <laughs> we're going to do it on full unboxing. So let's go. Let's go. I'm a little short. It kind of felt like clown music should have started. I feel like... Um, I need okay. This is a Never Rust Decorative Aluminum Shower Rod. I'm going to set this here and Before see. Before we start, how much is this entire palette? $400. So Are you this, kidding? Nope. So this whole thing is $400. It's a, I'd say it's a five foot tall palette. Um, and it's She's tall. short. It's not quite five feet tall. <laughs> Yeah, there's thousands. I don't know if there's any way for us to calculate, but let's Look at try. This automatic soap dispenser. This is an automatic soap dispenser you can insert into um, a hole that you have existing, like in the kitchen or in the bathroom. So you just put your hand underneath there and it squirts out. So that's kind of handy. And I'll set that here and see if Gabriella can get us any prices on some of this stuff as we go. Towel bar. Oh, there's a towel bar. If your towel bar needs replaced. Um, this is by Delta. It's part of the Greenwich or Greenwich collection. Um, again, I'm going to just set this aside for a moment. I'll check a few prices and I'll get back with you on those. Got something there for me? It's oh. a vent hood. Oh, easy access vent hood. Okay. I know there's some of you who are probably thinking this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but do you see how this thing works? If it keeps a critter out of my house, I am darned excited to have one. So this is just one of those things that, you know, things need done. What do we have here? It's a, it's a handle bar for your... Oh, it's a towel ring. Let's see if I can tell what color it is here. Still in the plastic. Doesn't look like it's ever been installed. And... I don't know if I can even tell if that's, it's a really dark gray, or it could go black if you're into that, but it's kind of a, um, maybe pewter would be the, the color. I'd have to look on here and see. Let's see. Oh no, my bad. It says Venetian bronze. So I don't remember if that's what Venetian bronze is supposed to look like, but that's what they call it. What do you Plastic got? pipe and tubing cutter. So while you're getting your work done around the house. We do have a few tools in here, it seems. This is a plastic pipe and tubing cutter. Um, I'm going to see if I can get you a couple prices on some things here, maybe. We use, just like you do if you haven't tried it, um, uh, we use the search function on Home Depot for these items. So I'm going to look this one up. And it says, it says I didn't get the right number. I'll try it with a different one. It seems more successful in a second. Let me grab this, Alexis. I found a, one of these. It's unboxed, too. I found another one. It's unboxed. Oh, my. Okay. Well, let's look at this because you know what? This is super cool. This is a hot water recirculating system. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been out of the box. There's a second one in this Gaylord. Let me see if I can pull this item up on my Home Depot search. 
it help if I work so spastic trying to get it to take my do the picture here. Okay. Be easier if they didn't ask me if I wanted them to my camera every time. Okay. So here's what it looks like. You can actually look this up on Home Depot. Sorry, I'm not very good with, with space. But this is what this item looks like. It is um, a hot water recirculating system. Alexis just said there are two of them in this Gaylord. Um, so, set that back down there. So that's how it works if you want to check some of the pricing out to see what some of the things are and what they value for. Oops, sorry, Alexis. Hi, guys. I just wanted to show you what I got. I have a shower pole caddy. These are really nice. I have one in my shower. Would you Would you like me to scan yeah. them? Yeah. Since I've, I've got the barcode right here. Boop. Including your finger. That's by Glacier Bay. Never been and opened. Yeah, it, it it's looks really like pretty it's around... Box, though. 37 about $37. Can I help you with some of this stuff? Yes, I can't reach. Do you think we should cut it? Um, here, look at oh. this. This Ooh, is one, I need one of these. I need one of these. I okay. Have it this one. is an 8 inch wall mount vanity mirror. It looks like it, it spins 360 degrees. It's nice to mount in your bathroom so you can see what you're doing especially if you wear glasses. This is all part of the same Gaylord. This Gaylord is $400. These are all home improvement items. They did come from Home Depot. I think I'm allowed to say that. Um, what else have you got for me, Alexis? Sorry, I was trying to stack this stuff. I thought Gabriel might have a chance to look it up, but she didn't. This item right here, Oh, there you are. Is 18. Oh, okay. Um, their price, so ours would be nine. Okay, so this is an $18 tool that we found in this day, Lord. This is a water pipe heat cable. Oh, boy, I can tell you. In the winter, Russ has needed these more than once for his place. They're very, very handy. And I know it seems like every year he's got to go buy them. I don't see a Oh, I guess that barcode right in front of me is what I'm supposed to be looking at. It says 15 to 19 feet, 4.6 to 5.8 meter. Um, so, can you get a scan on that? That is $33 at Home Depot. That makes it 15 at Jack's. Or 400 if you buy it as part of the Gaylord. Show me something cool. What do you got here? I can't reach either. <laughs> It was just light. This is a spring loaded exhaust hood. It's by Everbuilt. I expected it to be heavier than it was. What you got? More tools. Another rigid tool. This is an easy change faucet tool. Oh, you have a second one? I'll leave Gabriella check that out for us and I'll put this one right down the side here. The faucet tool is $20 at Home Depot, so 10 at Jack's. 10 at Jack's. Is anybody keeping track? Have we hit our $400 yet? I think I think we did with those two water those two water heaters. We hit the $400 with those. Did you want to go ahead and look up this um, this uh, touchless di soap dispenser cuz I think it's cool? Your touchless soap dispenser is $19.99. So we've got it at 10 bucks. Here's Delta three-piece bath hardware set. Can you see that? Oh, and I'm even gonna get you to scan the barcode at the same time. This item retails for $69.99. So it, at Jack's, that'll run you for 35 bucks. This uh, kit includes a 24 inch towel bar a towel ring, and a pivoting toilet paper holder. It looks like it's uh, brushed, what do you call it, brushed? Brushed nickel. Brushed nickel, thank you. 
The towel bar is a 24 inch, just in case you are interested in that item, it is 24 inch. But it's all going as one pallet, right? Yeah, if you go for a whole pallet, 400 bucks. You can do your whole house, then sell some and get your 400 bucks back. Okay, I'm, I'm confused by this, but... So you probably wouldn't have been the one to buy it? Probably not. So, so either, are there two different things here, or what is, what, what's going on with this? It looks like it would be very handy if you knew what you were doing with it. I... I'm going to let Alexis find it. There's <laughs> a lot of rigid tubing cutters. This nice. is the third one I have found. Have you run that? Let's yeah, work. I think you will. You probably, you know, sometimes when these things are small, they're very expensive. I know we've had some paint sprayers that are very expensive. Let's check that out. I found a flex foil dryer hookup kit, four inch by eight foot. So if you need a dryer hookup kit, that is part of our home improvement palette here, $400 at Jack's. By the way, if you've forgotten or you didn't hear, we did move. So we are no longer on Independence Drive. We have moved on to Illinois Road. So uh, when you're going down Illinois Road, um, there is a Mazda dealer across from Jefferson Point. And Sportsman's Warehouse is next to it. Now, Sportsman's Warehouse used to be Staples, for those of you who like to go by what used to be, like I do. The road to Jack's is right in between Mazda and Sportsman's Warehouse. So you go to the back and then you turn to the right and we're down on the end. So we do welcome you to our new location. You do not need uh, to ring a bell to get in. We are open access. Um, we do still offer forklift loading. And um, we do a lot of special appointments. I've been here every day this week. So let's see what else Alexis has got going on here, guys. Sorry, I digress. Um, this is another four inch hood assembly. Got pipe. <laughs> got pipe? A little bit. Ow! Apparently, it's very heavy pipe. <laughs> Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, that is a great idea. Look at that. Look at that. Save yourself hundreds of dollars cleaning your ducts out. No, I don't want to hear it. Did you look up a price on that? Uh, Fifteen. Okay, look at so. Look this perfectly mysterious brown box. Fifteen. All right. I love these. Mysterious brown box. Um... I'm going to open this and see what we've got here. Since we have no idea. I'm sure glad I'm not in the business of selling worms. At least I don't have to worry about that. <coughs> okay. Y'all know what these are more than I do, I'm guessing. But it says they are CTS trans coupling. They're half inch pieces of CPVC. There are 10 of them. Do you guys know what those are? It's a bushing. Really? Or a spigot slip. Depending on. Stop acting smart. You're reading. I am reading. Okay. <laughs> anyway, there's a whole box of those little fellers. This is a hotel luxury corner basket. Great for your shower. Great if you have a short term rental. Great if you have guests. Great if you have a lot of junk in the shower. I have quite a few of these. I think they're really pretty because it's like more of a farm, like a farmhouse modern style. Oh yeah, look, it's in matte and black it's finish. That really make it. Look at that. It's by Delta and it's a toilet paper holder. It's hard to see because of the oh, do you want to, oh there you go. This item runs $27 at... That one item runs 27 bucks at Home Depot. It is part of our home improvement $400 Gaylord. I don't know what this is. I, I like that it's a sign though. I like that it says quiet. <laughs> oh, it's a registered duck. 
Or return. Re yeah, like. Quiet. I've got uh, a towel ring by Delta here. I would say this is brushed nickel finish. Yep, I can read that. It says brushed nickel. I'm surprised. I didn't know these things were so expensive, those towel rings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Towel ring. Oh, look, here's another Delta. Delta, Delta, Delta. It is another towel ring, and I believe it matches the one that I just put in here. Yep, brushed nickel. So there's a matching set. We've got another Delta here. This is an Everly pivoting toilet paper holder. Yeah, I know, that's not like totally thrilling, but look at, it really is, it's a nice one. I would guess, Gabriel, just run this one for me, will you? I do wanna remind you all that um, if you join the Jack's exclusive group, we'll be able to do online sales this, this is $25.98, I'll be done. Anyway, I think it's pretty nice. Delta products are rather expensive. They're nice quality and they do last a while. So if you're planning on buying a Delta product for your new home in this housing boom, this is a great time to oh, yeah, spend 400 bucks. Yeah, if you're a flipper, if you're building, this is a good way to spend 400 bucks and get thousands. It appears that my, this is also a, probably a Delta toilet paper holder that um, simply has lost its box. So I'm going to put that in here. We will find its mate. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds of, look at these little baskets that you can put in your bathroom to hold product up. Oh, there, there's a picture. Can you see the picture? It's kind of hard to see it there. And I'm terrible about knowing where I'm at, so. What you got there? Oh, super cool. Gabriella, this is definitely a scannable item. Check this out. This is a rigid micro CA-25 inspection camera. So you can see and illuminate dark places and retrieve small product or small objects. This sounds kind of fun. Mm, flip it over, see if it has another one. Oh yeah. There we go. Let's get that other barcode. This is $94. This is a $94 tool that we've found in this Gaylord that is $400 of home improvement items. So I can tell you right now, we are hundreds beyond the price of that gate, the uh, $400 price tag on that Gaylord. Easy access vent hood. Now don't forget, some of these things are things that are good to have around. Some of them might be things that you want to put up for sale um, if you do any selling online. This one, the box looks very good. Oops, I'm sorry, Gabriella. 10 bucks on Home Depot, five bucks for us, or we're on our own. I gotta start stacking on the other side. I don't know that I'm gonna have enough room uh, what do we have here? Uh, foundations by Delta toilet paper holder. I think we've found overall these Delta toilet paper holders are running 20, 25 bucks a piece. Does that seem right, Gabrielle? Yeah. Um, Let me know if you need rescued. Do you need rescued? A little. What do I have? This is a four inch air diffuser. Not thrilling. Also necessary. Why are the necessary things in life not thrilling? Do you? Heavy duty huh? dryer hookup kit. Oh, nice. This is oh, a, I think really useful improvement. I really think this is, isn't this the second one of these we've found? Uh, um, let me see if I can find it. Here, Gabriella, maybe you can scan that for us. $26.93. $26.93, it's good for either gas or electric dryers. I'm a little worried I'm going to lose you in here. Yeah, but that's if you have an RV, we've got an RV 
sewer hose kit with pre-attached swivel fittings. Let's see if I can get a scan off of this item. I have no idea what you would expect. It is 15 feet long. $36. $36 RV sewer hose kit retail value. Part of our home improvement depot, or home improvement, I'm gonna get in trouble. Our home improvement Gaylord here for $400 at Jack's. I don't know what this is. Look at it. It's kind of. I don't. This thing just goes on and on, okay? I know, I'm trying to pull the big ones out. This is another three piece set by Delta. Um, the style is called Everly. It has a 24 inch towel bar, a towel ring, and a pivoting towel paper, oops, paper towel, pivoting toilet paper holder. I can't speak. And it is in brushed nickel. And Gabrielle, you want to give me a scan? Who wants a second inspection camera? Right, didn't we just say that was 100 bucks? Yep. Wow, this is a valuable, valuable palette. $70. This is normally a $70 set. It is part of, gosh, I wish we would have kept a calculator going in. I kind of No, we're track. way over. We're way over. We're way over double. Door dryer. Oh, sorry. Four by five inch indoor dryer vent kit. Four inch by five foot. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't read four inch by five foot. Thank you. Look, it's like a double hanger. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, that jerked my eye. I'm just trying to grab whatever I can here, Alexis. Apparently, I am now going to be known as the queen of toilet paper holders. Thanks if you don't uh, pick up on that moniker. Um, foundations toilet paper holder. is expensive. This is an automatic sprinkler timer for sprinkler pumps. Look at that. Let's see. Can I find the, the oh, there's the barcode for you, Gabriella. hundred bucks. It's a hundred dollars. So two, four, five, six. I can think of at least seven hundred dollars in, in what, five items. Alexis, what are you throwing? I don't know what it's for. So that goes over your water spigot in the winter time so that it doesn't freeze. Okay, well here's another one. Here's another one. And another one. Looks a little dented. Glacier Bay has gifted us here with a shower whole caddy. It, this one does appear to be, it's rust resistant. And uh, got a scan on that for me? I can. This item has been discontinued, but it's, used to run $24. Used to run $24. It's part of our $400 home improvement palette here at Jack's. By the way, if I forgot to give you the address, which I think I did, it's 4310 Illinois Road, and we are in building 2202. Oh, all she's, the way at the end. She's popping up on your gopher back there. <laughs> oh, look, this is a faucet, but faucet protector. <laughs> I get I really thought that this was going to be like a raincoat, but it's not. It's a faucet protector. Even I could, even I could install this. Look, you just slip it over there like a gift bag. Just like wine. Just like wine. Maybe the next time you go somewhere, you should just take them a faucet. 
cover. You know, instead, it'll become a no housewarming gift. It's literally a warming thing for your house. Oh, look at this. What? This. I am excited here. This is Frost King duct insulation. It's 12 inches wide, an eighth of an inch thick, and 15 fit, foot long. It's for use on heating and air conditioning ducts, and it stops wasteful heat loss. So this is kind of cool. Um, let me see. Oh, there. You want to scan it? This item is $19. $19. Brand and new. Never out of the package. How much did you it's see list. For? Uh, let me double check. Here's a scanner. Look at the item. They are $20 each. And I have three of them. shower caddy. This is actually the same one we looked at a minute ago. Lots of toilet paper holders. Lots of houses have many bathrooms these days. If you knew what this was for, it would probably be a lot better than the costume idea I had for the Tin Man. <laughs> I really want to make you into the Tin Man now. I've, okay, and I'm boring. I've got a shower pole caddy. She gets to be the Tin Man. Oh, no pieces. Here's my elbow. <laughs> This is such a dad thing to get excited about. Here, Alexis, you're English. And some pipe. That looks like a noodle. More duct cleaning. You could start a business. You could. Oh, look. Somebody's receipt. More toilet paper holders. Wait. Wait, there's wait, more. Wait. Oh, and she's just found a third rigid camera. Oh my gosh, that is actually, remember, those were $100 a piece. This is the third one we found. Basically, guys, all of these is just paid for this Gaylord. I swear, guys, this is the first we've been in this thing. I, I had no idea these things were in here. But it's kind of fun, isn't it? But I don't know how you get the good stuff. That goes over your faucet to keep it warm. This spigot. Cool. Cool. Or not cool. Ah. I just continue to clean out duct work while she... I think she, God's sending you a message. I think God is sending me a message. You, she needs her duct work clean. That's I've got weird. another really nice towel holder here. Towel bar. Oh, if you like that the hook, you can prefer the hook. This is not a big enough game one. This is not big to be a big girl. It's not. Another one of those tools. I just found a wide mouthed 
dryer vent hood and another um, towel rack. That was a short one. That's, I think we might have should have done a better job of stacking some of the sources. We should have stacked it better. Ooh, this one's Oh, there. another double. Yeah, I like these. I like these are cool. I would totally do that at my house. I like this one. What is Ooh. it? It's a 24 inch towel bar. What do they call this color? Who knew you could be so opinionated on these things? And then, of course, I've got a really nice towel ring here. You guys, this is all Delta stuff, too. It's not, it's it's not, not cheap. It's not the cheap brands. Is this another? Ooh, a mysterious box. Okay. What's in the box, Alexis? It's piping. But wait, what's it say? Nope, doesn't say anything on the side. All right, guys, let's open it. That was really not exciting. What was it? It was sea piping. I don't know what she said. You know, maybe if you... Balloon arches. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, guys, I don't know what this is, but it says rigid and it's heavy. Ah. I do not have a clue. Let's see. It's, it's the, oh, it's a vice. Oh, my gosh. Check this out. I feel like I just... Yeah. Damn. You should check and see how much this thing is, because if they sell it by the pound, it's got to be expensive. Right in that late. Okay, so you put this on the edge. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you put it on the edge of your work table, and it has bolt it's a holes. Great color. And you can see. I don't. Know, can you see? No. Holy cannoli! Is this thing heavy? It looks nice. It is nice. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. And if it was, it was by a brute. My goodness! You can't. This, this needs to be attached. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's heavy enough. It doesn't. But it is a rigid product, and I know a lot of you really enjoy rigid products. Send me some love if you like the rigid stuff. That item is, are you ready for it? I am. $248. Holy crap, are you kidding? Well. It is a four and a half inch Model 4-F45 forged bench vise and it by is, Rigid. It, it has a lifetime warranty. It should. That sucker isn't going anywhere. It's heavy. Wow, that is, and it was how much? Two hundred and forty-eight dollars. Wow. Okay, so let me think again. So we have three cameras at a hundred. We have this at two forty-eight. I'm going to say two fifty. So we're at five fifty. Those twenty-dollar tools. We have about six of them. Okay, so that's one twenty. That's seven seventy or six seventy. There was something else in here we had several of that were... Delta. All the Deltas? The, yeah, the big three-piece ones. Yay. That's a good day, Lord, guys. It, it is, but I'm exhausted after picking this thing up now. Okay, let's see what else you got. More towel bars. There are a couple more mystery boxes down here. I think they're pipes. Well, you yeah. know? Yep. They are pipes. Rigid. All rigid products do have a lifetime warranty. Is it right? I don't know that. This yeah. is cool because it helps deflect your air and heat flow. So if it blows in the wrong direction, then you can just move it. Oh, cool. Proactive. You like to be productive. Huh? Productive. <laughs> Oh, there is another toilet paper holder. It's a toilet paper holder, but I like it. It's kind of different. Are you sure that's not a towel hook and it goes the other way? Okay. Or it's a towel hook and it goes this way. There we go. I don't want to overthink I, things. You know, you probably put toilet paper on it. I have found multiples of these. I'm not really sure what they are. They say they shut off electric... Oh, wait. No. It's a water heater installation kit. And there are a couple of them in that... Um, Gaylord that we're going through. So let's see how much it is. $28. $28, and I think I found four so far. 
There's some more of these little gizmos that you hang in the shower. Water pipe heat cable. I don't oh, that's know. great for those cold winters. Oh, that's what it was. It was those two instant hot water deals. Oh, yes. How much were those again? I forget. Are they 100 each. Yeah. And then there was 100 for the, um, the uh, lawn sprinkler system. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, it's so easy for me to forget. More for your installation kit. of stuff is not horrifically expensive but it sure is nice to have instead of having to run out and buy it and it's not very exciting so I was just going to toss them in the Gaylord but if you want to see some of the smaller stuff I was just getting some of the um, uh, things that we've already seen and, and putting them in here as well. Exhaust hood with guard. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of sticky. Um, like vent tape? Yeah, you see the tape? I don't know what it is for exactly, but somebody else does. And this Hi. entire, this entire Gaylord is four hundred dollars. Oh. Sorry, next time we're gonna do a better job of that, guys. <laughs> So, so far we found four or five of the rigid tools. Uh, what is that? The, it's an inspection tool, right? Oh, you mean the cameras? Yeah. Yeah, those are, I, I think you can use them to look like into your sewer. Yeah. Located in Fort Wayne, off Illinois Road, behind Mazda and Sportsman Warehouse. The old staples. Rigid tools. I think we found 160 bucks worth of rigid tools just in the that style. Just that one type. Water heater supply. We've had a few of those come through. Yeah, so just if you are a plumber and you're looking for scan that one for me because I have a. They feel like they would be expensive. I they, think that means good quality. This item is ten dollars. This item is ten dollars. But do you realize it's like it a is, dollar an inch? It's a stainless steel water heater supply line, and it is a three quarter inch. By 15 inch. Okay, so a little more than a dollar bitch. Slinky dog. Nope. 
It's not a slinky dog? It is, oh, okay, it's a flex foil duct, six inches by 25 feet, or a slinky dog if you're Alexis. Those would make good arms for your robot. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of little. With two, two of them, we could make our legs too. I like these hooks. I prefer hooks. I don't know. Oh, 25 yeah. feet, we should be okay. Look, these are, these are hooks. They're towel hooks, so instead of having the bar, if you don't have room for the bar, or even in the kitchen, they're nice in the kitchen. Oh, it's a great option for the kitchen. We have a little rock. Yeah. Oh, another tool, rigid tool, without a box, though. I kind of want to know how that works. We you know how that works, send a YouTube video. Or come by one and they show us. I've got another wide mouth vent hood here, and I'm putting it on. Aren't these those little electrical boxes? Yes. Junction boxes, I think they're called. I think. And I got this thermocouple. Ooh, a thermocouple. What's a thermocouple for? Okay. So this is a thermocouple kit. For gas furnaces and gas hot water heaters, it's 24 inch. Gabriella, you want to scan that for me? I actually know what a thermocouple is. I'm excited. It is $9. That is $9, but you know what? When you need it, boy, do you need it. Two sizes in one. This is a, I don't know, because they put a sticker over top of it. And then we also got this tubing conduit cleaner cutter. This item is $36. And it's a C style adjustable copper tubing cutter. At first I thought they were earrings, but I don't think so. They may be O rings. Guys, but they do it? require a qualified installer, which I obviously am not. Let's see. I still don't know what they are. They're rings of some kind. Do you want to scan it just so that we can I, figure it out? We can figure it out. Because there's a couple of them. Oh, half inch and three quarter inch replacement parts. What for? Home Flex Fittings. Home Flex Fittings. Well, it is Home Flex brand. I don't know what they fit, but they are half inch parts. And they are part of this home improvement Gaylord. It is $400 for the whole Gaylord. I'm trying to stick those in there so they don't fall out. What's this? I got another wide mouth vent kit. Vent kit. What are we going to do when we can't put any more on top of this? There's a spring loaded vent. I don't know. I hadn't bought that far. Well, I suppose you guys could show them a few more of the other pallets we have in this warehouse. Okay, well. Okay, because it's getting really hard for us to reach some of this stuff. And some of it, there is a great deal of duplication here, so. Uh, yes, if you need an item, you can keep one for yourself, for your collection, and then sell the rest and make your money back. But what, what a great deal. What is, this is by Honeywell. I want to see what this is. It's called a Winter Watchman. Would you mind checking that for me? Oh, it's a low temperature signal. Oh, so if you go away for the winter or vacation and you want to um, make sure that your house doesn't freeze and your pipes don't freeze, this is a low temperature signal. I never saw that before. That's kind of cool. That it just nice. It just plugs into your regular electric socket. Why don't we turn around and show you guys all the pallets that we have inside of our... Um, right oh. now because there are still more uh, outside outside we had to clear out so that we could do this shot and because it's cooler in here than it is out there so we're just gonna turn start here around. gabriella if you wouldn't mind let's just um also from home depot we have uh one two three four five water softeners here these are water boss water softeners we have both for well water and city water, these usually range from 
to about $550, depending on which selection you choose. We have a model 900, a 950, and a model 700, and each one of these are $300. And I don't know that you can see, well, you can't see it over there, I think. You can see still in box. These still have the... Um, Those, I believe, were floor models. Yeah, they're floor models. The instructions and everything are right inside here. They've never been used. Excellent opportunity for you. So anyway, I just thought maybe we'd mention those while we were walking by. Those are another good option for a way to save a little money if you're building a house or remodeling a house right now. It's a big buzzword to say you've got a new water softener in there and cost you way less than it would have at Home Depot or Lowe's. So I'm going to turn just a little and we're going to talk about this big pallet here that is mostly filled with, um, I'd say home electronics. Yeah, it's a lot of lighting. Not electronics, ele electrical. Electrical, there you go. okay. Yeah. Home electric. So we see things in here like floodlights. Let me see if you can see that. Hampton Bay, you'll notice we get a lot of Hampton Bay. That's because this stuff comes from Home Depot. So if it's at Home Depot, this is an LED oops, wall or floodlight. This is just an example of a few Let of the things. Let me see that. Let me you want to see that? I'll scan that for you. All right. This here. Con consumer electric is expensive, or commercial electric is expensive. This item is $65 at Home Depot. It is a 200 watt equivalent LED floodlight with wall mount kit. Um, the, it's an outdoor security light. With it being an LED, this means you won't have to replace it for probably, what, 10, 15, even 20 years if you are lucky. How much is this pallet, ma'am? That whole pallet is $400. This little heater here, um, we pulled out and we checked to see what it is. It's a DeLonghi heater, and it is actually a $250 heater. And look at how nice that is. We that actually is have a ceramic technology. It just has these really nice touch buttons instead of like full buttons. Um, and, and we do have a few of those. We have multiples. Okay, this palette, if you don't mind me taking this one. This one's all toys, guys. This one's kind of fun. It's all toys. And Gabriella, help me with the price on this one. That one is only $200. That's what I thought. It's only $200. There are bouncy balls in here. Look at this. I want one of these. <laughs> Monster feet. It's got all kinds of toys in there. Okay, Ren and Stimpy. So. What was the other one? Beavis and Butthead. I don't know. Anyway, coloring book. Uh, we always have customers looking for toy palettes, so I did want to let you know that we do have a toy palette here for two hundred dollars. Building blocks. Okay. Who's there? They are. I thought they were cool. Continuing on our tour here. Continuing on. Let's see what Alexis has for us here. I have some butcher blocks, which are really great. Um, I don't know, for the kitchen. It's a great countertop option if you're looking to upgrade your home, but you can't or don't want to spend a lot. I um, love the butcher block as a countertop. Is counter? It's not going to, because we're not going to let you take the counter. Okay, never mind. We also have <laughs> they are only $50 each, though, just so you guys know. Only $50, though. You realize that. Yeah. That's it's awesome. I hate it's an counter. amazing option for... A reasonable countertop and the nice thing is is that you can clean them they're much um, cleaner than having like tile with grout well that's my problem I hate the tile with grout that I have exactly and um, you can stain them to whatever color fits best for your home so if you do have white kitchen and you don't want that light of a color you can go with a nice stain that'll bring it down to a to a deeper richer color okay now that I've been standing here with my you look like you're going to class I know Anyway. You're done with that. So this <laughs> is um, some tile that we have. This is called Ivory Lines. It's actually longer than that when you get the whole piece. This yeah, is this just is a just piece. a broken piece like that I just used as a um, sample size. So here it, it's actually quite a long. Look at that. Look this nice item, size. you guys are going to be blown away. It's like, what, $30? It's $30 a square foot. At, at Home Depot. 
and we have it here for two dollars a square foot so i mean like there's no way to beat that and it's cut it's white it's like an ivory white and there's, it's got these ridge lines in it there's 13 boxes each box is 15.71 and a half square feet 204 total square feet on this pallet and that's what four hundred dollars there really yep four hundred dollars for the whole pallet for the whole pallet and be careful here Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I do too. This is faux wood porcelain tile. This does require grout. This would probably require a professional installation. But it is solid. We have... Um, no scratches, no spills, no stains, no... My, yeah. We were just discussing short-term rentals. If you own a rental, um, this is a good option for your home because they're not going to be able to tear it up. It's not going to get messed up with water it's not going to get messed up with pets um things like that and it'll last you a good long time i'm gonna move this so we had some really special deals that we have given some people because it is really hot outside if you guys haven't noticed it is really hot outside and we have sold this week a christmas pallet and a pallet full of uh, snow blowers. So these people are getting on top of the game on, you know, they're thinking ahead and because they're thinking ahead, they're getting really great deals. And that's why this palette is going to be an amazing thing for somebody because these are all heaters. Gabriella, do you think we could scan one of these? Oh, absolutely. Do you know who... Is there a barcode on them? Yeah, place? I was trying to... Trying to see if we know where a might be. I believe they range somewhere between two to three hundred each. Um, and the entire palette is four hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars for this entire thing. Are you on a theme today? I am. <laughs> does that include or not include the Gaylord underneath? That it? does not include the Gaylord underneath right. it. Do you know what's in the Gaylord? It is lighting. It's just like your lighting palette you showed after your water softeners. And it's $350. And you're wrong. <laughs> nuh uh. It's got more to long heaters in it. Well, then it does go. Wait. I can see. Well, oh, man. I, can I hate see. being wrong. Swipe or no swiping. Ah. <laughs> so, I wonder this how is often that happens and I just walk right through it. It's I don't know, but just so you know, there's more DeLong meters in there. Do you think you could find um, a barcode that we could scan, or do you want me to just tell you what the model number is? Maybe you could look it up that way if that's easier. Uh, I could. Let's see. Here's one. Is this, is this a shipping? It's sometimes hard to tell if they're shipping barcodes. What kind of heater is it? DeLong It's the bottom I'm looking at on all of these. I am not finding a barcode. The Longi Hi-Fi Technology Eco Plus wall mounted. There's a wall mount option. It's not necessary, but it's an option. I, well, that's can, nice. I can give you the energy savings tips. Do you want those? This item is. 235 at Walmart, but if you buy it without Prime on Amazon, you can get it for 146. Can I see that so wow. I can show it to them? Yeah. So because right now it just looks like a bunch of boxes, and I know one, that's not very exciting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's at least 1,400. Yeah, that's it. 1,400. I'm sorry. 14 heaters on here at $150 a piece. That seems like that's $2,100. $235 a piece. Oh my, $235. My bad. Hey guys, price just went up. $235 a piece for how many? 14, 14. of them. 14. I counted 14. I don't know what's in that up there. Mystery box. No idea. Uh, it says Air Bear. That's kind of cool. It, it could be. <laughs> Um, okay, let's <laughs> just keep going here, guys. Uh, we do have um, a small electric fireplace. 
Uh, this is a real popular item. And again, believe it or not, as hot as we are, people are thinking to the fall and winter already. So uh, we've got a little heater here. I've got a thermal blast, thermal blaster, infrared portable heater here. That's Great a good for one for camping. this. Yeah, or the shop. If, or your, uh, yeah. RV. That's a good one. <laughs> so she, does anybody have a pond? This is a pond filter with UV clarifier. That, it's for ponds up to 1,200 gallons. So that would include like your koi pond or something small that you would want to put in your front or backyard, um, maybe like in a neighborhood. This would not fit a pond on a couple of acres. Not a farm pond? Not a farm pond. You would probably have what looks like a trickle or a urine stream. <laughs> now, if any of you folks have stores, huh, if you like this, it looks like a commercial for Home Depot. <laughs> if any of you have stores, we do have, uh, am I allowed to do this? Yeah, oh, okay. it's upside down though. <laughs> we do have a box full of medical items. Um, they are mostly, um, oh wait, that's the one she showed you. <laughs> you see better health, Gabriella. I'm aware. Okay, pain relief. Uh, nighttime pain relief. There's time. allergy in there too. There's yeah. allergy in here. Uh, but there's a whole box of it here. Gabriella, do you have a price off the top of your head on these? The entire box is $200. Oh. There are, I think, 400 360. items. 360. 360 items. So, yeah, that's right. That was. Oh, and before I put that back, is anybody oh, is hot? So Good hot. lord. It is hot out, guys. Um, I do have an, uh, an air conditioner here. It's called Commercial Cool because it is 240 volt. So if you need 240, this sucker will definitely kick out some cool air. If you don't, it, it won't work for you. So just keep in mind that um, this is a 240 volt. And I'm gonna put my medicine back on top of it. I'm not sure what's back there. I'm not gonna look right at the moment. Better hurry. <laughs> just kidding. This is just a, a really great, you know, walker that we have. It's a, you know, you can sit or it's one of those ones you can um, carry things with. We have another. This is a lightweight option and it does fold up. It goes easily into your car. They suggested this is a nice option if you're traveling. Um, we do have another. Um, Let me see if I can get this any closer so you can see. Yeah. Let's see. Can and then we do have a regular wheelchair that involves being pushed. It's just like a normal. But it is a. Um, we'll give you an idea what that little feller looks like. <laughs> um, the wheelchair is a collapsible wheelchair. It's not like a full industrial size like you'd see at the hospital. This is more like you would throw in your car and take with you to the airport while you travel, you know, to Florida or whatever. Really? <laughs> <laughs> she said it. All old people go to Florida. She said they it. Is only from Indiana. They do. They're called Michigan and Michigan. Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> the Midwestern okay. thing. Okay. Carry on. Uh, carry on. Uh, we've got another nice twenty thousand, twenty thousand BTU heater here. It's by Mr. Heater. It is a vent-free blue flame. That's nice. It heats up to 700 square feet. That's bigger than Alexis's apartment was. <laughs> All right. You don't need to come at me. <laughs> okay, We're going to move on. <laughs> All right, fine. I thought it was a good heat. We are gonna Is go this an entire palette? Can we sell it as an entire palette? Yes, it's available as a whole palette or individually. There are a multitude of items on here, um, including, but not limited to, uh, a netting and I don't know how to call it other than a cage <laughs> it is for your trampoline that item mom's looking at there that item is for your trampoline it's the enclosure it includes the poles enclosure. and the um, netting and all of that so that your children's do not tumble out or at least tumble out slower <laughs> I know because I was one of those kids <laughs> we have an electronic 
or electric crackling log. So if you want to fake a fireplace, then that's really great. <laughs> this is by Pleasant Hearth. I learned that. <laughs> yeah, not a hearth. Definitely not a hearth. This is just a really weird palette. So if you just are looking for like random things, then this is the palette to go for. This is a good palette with larger items on it. It's got some really great sale items on it. Um, good value items. Hey, Gabrielle, I'm going to show you this. It is a WF5110R. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that, it is also a pure sine wave 1000 watt power inverter. These and are good for campers. Okay, that, you know you just burst my bubble. I apologize. Um, do me a favor and scan that because, you know, it's heavy. That usually means it's valuable. Well, it did work on your vice. It did. <laughs> the theory worked on the vice. Let's see. We're having to check Amazon. They don't own. They don't have this item at Home Depot. Holy cow! This item is four hundred and sixty dollars. Four hundred and sixty dollars. It is brand new in box. That would be the one thousand watt power inverter. Go ahead, give us a shout if it's something you're interested. You can love it. You can send us a direct message you can come see us and you know funny enough guys we actually do have payment plan options on our website so if you decide you want something like this but you don't have 400 or in our case 230 dollars to shell out at the moment you can purchase online and use a, a payment plan i like this palette because it has these really great lights on it and this is a chandelier kind of thing where it's actually like a clear glass farmhouse light pendant and it's, it's in really chrome great. it's in chrome it's pretty if your house is a whole house real makeover for like oh i think we're at like 1200 bucks you've done everything that's just so about true. yeah just about everything you've got lighting you've got flooring you've got bathroom um there isn't much that we don't have for a pretty good price guys um this is a an under bed storage drawer Gabriella, do we know anything about the computer desk? It is a glass corner computer desk. It's in black. Unfortunately, that item is missing part of the second corner. So you can have like a straight desk, but it does not make the full corner. Not going to do a corner. There's a chest cabinet down here. Do you know anything about that? It's a seven drawer chest with one door in black and it came from Home Depot, it appears. Yep, it's from Home Depot. I don't know exactly anything else because I, I really can't see. What else you got there? Well, this is another one of those things that once it's explained to me, I'm probably going to wow, but I don't totally get it. So let's look. It is... It's portable gas. A manual pneumatic two-in-one fluid extractor. So apparently, according to these pictures, there are times you need to extract fuel. I need this for my Vespa <laughs> so I can put fresh gas in it. Look at that. Yep. You know what? I don't, again, obviously, as you can tell, it's 2.6 <laughs> gallons. Um, if you don't mind, Gabriella, maybe you could give a scan on this one for me because I don't have an I any idea what something like this runs. The one I'm playing. Just kidding. Okay. Maybe. Try one more. I can't I can't read it very well to see, but I can it's an LX 1314 if you want to look it up. I believe the brand is Lumax, L-U-M-A-X, and the item number is LX, or the model number, LX1314. Were you talking about this, this really strange palette over here? Your Lumax is thir a 137 on Amazon. $137 on Amazon, and I think the only thing wrong with it is it went through a war in, in packaging in packaging in UPS's truck. Okay, Gabriella, this looks like this looks like something you're going to be a little bit better at talking about than we are. I see one, two, three, four, five Amazon boxes on here. Yes. Do you know 
Are, have these, do you, you have any idea what these are? They're puzzles. Okay. So, um, what about... You have some fun stuff on here, though, because it's not really everything you're going to... You really know, because this is a cool mist and hot steam for your face. This which is really great if you want to do a facial at home. This is a cabinet. I believe yeah. there's cabinet doors on there that, you see where your hip is, Alexis, those small oh, items? These? Okay. All of those are replacement front, uh, cabinet front doors for like your kitchen cabinets. They're unstained so that they um, uh, can match. This one here is an end table with glass top. Oops, sorry, Alexis, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Throw it at her. <laughs> I can't see any more of the tags on those. Those appear to be furniture. I can't read it. Right. I do know we have a full furniture palette out there. It has 10 to 12 items on it, all from Wayfair, not assembled. It's $500 for the whole palette. Yeah, and talk to me about this deal. <laughs> it is um, mostly beds, bed frames, headboards, and they range from crib all the way to queen, maybe even a king size. Um, we haven't gone through it, but we do know that this is a really good deal. These Wayfair items generally range about $300 an item. $300 an item for a $500 palette? It seems like a pretty good deal. Right? So. I would think so. Did you guys um, want to go outside and show them what we've got outside? Sure, let's go. Over here we're passing, we have a couple of sinks left, a couple of vanities left. I see your bed skip all over the door. <laughs> we also have our dig bins. These are always up and available, so if somebody just wants to come through and just dig through some stuff, we've got plenty of things for you to just peruse through. All right, Gabriel. Oh, look, the sun kind of went down. They waited for us. Oh, got to be the sun. Insulated duct. Uh, it's 25 feet long. 25 feet long. And I think when I looked these up, they were like $69 a box. $69 a box originally. The entire palette is going for. That one is $75. This entire palette is going for $75. Is it, is it one, one box inside of it is Wait, worth. Is that the right item? Right box? It's the duct. You say so, Chief. One fifty for the whole palette. There's at least six boxes of this twenty-five foot uh, duct work, flexible duct. Uh, but there may be something else in the bottom I can't quite see. Is this what it looks like out of box? I believe it is. Let's see. Okay, so maybe it's wrapped in a garbage bag. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's a heck of a deal. Nope, that's it. That's what it looks like. What else you got down here? More of these uh, $400 pallets for, filled with 
We've got shower heads, lighting, to clearly what toilet paper cleaner. What is or, a ream? Huh? What is a, what, what's a ream? Oh, water heater? There's a water heater in here. I can see. There's a water I heater. I can't reach, but I can see that there's at least two of these shower heads. Maybe I could pick this one up so you can see it. These are great because um, this item can be installed in an existing shower. You don't have to rework your water to the ceiling like some rain shower heads. Um, we have both uh, satin nickel as well as a matte black. We have one of the matte black option. Um, this has the rain shower head style as well as some jets towards the bottom. Um, and these Mediterranean um, shower heads usually run about three, four hundred dollars. Um, they are one hundred to one fifty individually here at Jack's. Otherwise, you can purchase the entire Gaylord for four hundred and see what else you get. There's a there's a water heater in here. This is an outdoor tankless hot water heater. This outdoor is tankless wa hot water heater. So, so that's perfect for your um, hot tubs. Your livestock. livestock, livestock, car washing. Okay. Oh, Alexis would like that. I always wanted to have a mic. I love mics. You know what? I wash my own car. I will say, I, it's a, it's an experience. You really got to just, you really got to do it. I, I recommend it. But if you check out her car, don't say anything about the roof still being dirty. <laughs> yeah, I can't reach the top, but it's fine. But it's fine. She can't there, see it either, so it doesn't bother. There are more. There are more. Um, improvement items in here that I can see. There's a shower rod. I can see some towel rods. Um, but basically, I can't. I can't really move the hot water heater because it's heavy. Let's go show them a little bit um, of Is the it? 05 unit if you guys uh, have time. Okay. You mean 03? And yeah, I mean 03. All right, let's go. We do have other pallets available. You're welcome to reach out to us um, and ask. We have lighting. We have indoor lighting, shop lighting. We have five left of the Home Depot $400 pallets. Um, those of the items will be uh, just like the Gaylord that we unpacked earlier. The one that mom's standing in front of right there, that is your $500 Wayfair pallet. That's the one that's gonna be filled with beds. So this Husky box is interesting. Um, it is only part of an entire unit um, that you might use for um, uh, your garage, things along those lines. So this has the cabinet that goes on top of... Over your head? Yeah, it goes, technically it goes on top of your toolbox kit. We do not have the lower half of it. Um, it is cool, however, it is still a really nice piece. It has about 15, I believe, plug-ins on the inside of it so that you can keep all your tools nice and charged. It's got, um, uh, what is that stuff called where you hang it? The hooks that you hang? Oh, what? pegboard? It has pegboard kind of style inside of it so all of your tools can hang there nicely. And then the box underneath it is brand new in box. That is a um, upright black husky metal cabinet. It does match the item above it. Um, it is an upright cabinet, and I believe it stands about six feet tall. And we have one that we kept for ourselves uh, to use for our extra stuff, and it really is a nice cabinet, I gotta say that. Yeah, if um, it would be such a no-brainer for somebody to, to add the pieces together. We do get quite a bit of the Husky stuff, so if you want to slowly build it into your garage, this is a good option for you to do it at half price. We have a... Um we have a Boss audio system here. This is actually funny because we have both the piece for this as well as the insert for a Chevy Silverado. So those guys of you out there with a specific Chevy Silverado. All of our GM guys. Yes. You can um, put this in the back of your truck and, and uh, rock out. Are we allowed to call out any of our GM friends? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Um, and this, if you don't mind explaining, is a six and a half inch three-way speaker. Yes, both of these speakers fit into a casing that we do have here. Um, those speakers are in addition to, so those would be have to require um, professional hookup or at least you to know what the heck you're doing, because I don't. Don't so ask me. small, medium, and large. How much? Our large is $100, our medium is $50, $50 and then our small is $20, $20. These boxes, the large ones, I'd say they have at least 30 pounds worth of stuff in it. They're really heavy, um, and there's so much kind of stuff in there it. There are seven boxes here. But we do have, oh, we're going up. Um, we do have small, medium, and large. These are just our large boxes. If you want an entire pallet of um, law of mystery boxes. What would be the price on that, ma'am? That would be that be? would be 500 bucks for all of them. That gets you seven. So that is a really great deal. Everything's from Target. We found everything from those like muscle guns to backpacks, RFID stuff, uh, makeup. I personally bought my shampoo here. We're not going to talk about that though. So if you just want to find something and have a good Friday night, mystery boxes are a great way to do that. We're going to open up door number 2203 and give you an idea of the items that are for sale individually. So we are, we will be doing a full grand opening day for you guys. We are still getting kind of moved in and organized, but we will be doing a full um, grand opening with balloons and I'm mostly just in charge of the balloons. Okay, um, but but wait, but wait. We really want food trucks. So if anybody knows a food truck who'd like to come and help us with our grand opening, we'd love to talk to you. We love food and we love food trucks. So let's go inside to our um, more individual sale items. This is uh, where we kind of showcase you things that could that could have been pulled off of pallets. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, you know, something's going to be broken or missing or whatever, uh, this is for you to see that this is all stuff that we've pulled off of pallets. Um, oops, sorry. We're going to shut the door real quick. I'm sorry, I just thought it would be cooler. These, now, if you, if you don't find these things, so we're not removing them. What? We are we removing them. We take down the entire pallet. So when we unbox an entire pallet, it all comes out into here or into our showroom for individual pieces to be bought. Or for people to pick their own pallet. Oh sales. yes, and people do buy do a DIY pallet, which is where we put a pallet on the floor for you and you can put as much stuff on top as you want to and you get a special pallet discount. So this is our, um, we have some racking here of things that are, uh, there are all okay. kinds of small appliances you might find for home. Yeah, so we have like a portable charcoal grill. So if you're into camping, that's great. Um, if you have the ability or the confidence to do a <laughs> deep fried turkey, um, invite me over because I love turkey. Um, you know, there's some lighting. Uh, Hamilton Beach products are always really great. We do have a few. This is an outdoor table the guys just found. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It's, uh, it's, a, it's through the Crest Ridge collection through, um, I think it's Hamilton is this Is this Home Depot, Hamilton Gabriella? Bay. It's who? Hampton Bay. Hampton oh, Hampton Bay. Bay. Yeah, it's part of the Crest Ridge collection. That's a nice piece. This is a nice outdoor. It's actually a hose rail holder. So it's oh. supposed to kind of blend with your plants. You put the hose in the back there, and then it looks like a snake. I love that. That's a great idea. Um, and then I do want to show, we are doing, we have a special going on for our chairs and stools. So a pair, if you get two matching, then it is $50 for the pair or they're $30 a piece. So this is actually one of my favorites. I looked it up. It's $130 on Wayfair. It's only $30 here at Jack's because we are doing a special, special stool deal. So I'm just going to pull you guys around. Um, do you want to show me these tables real quick? Oh, okay. I've got this really nice quarter desk. So this is really great. Like if you're trying to maximize the space in your house and you can just shove this right into the corner and then you can pick out a nice chair to go with it so that you can 
have a nice little desk corner and um, not take up too much space in your room. And this is a, you know, it's not very exciting, but it is a five shelf bookcase, um, all put together for you and ready to go. Some, uh, you know, really nice. You can always, you can change the shelf, shelf height. height, which is great. I personally love these. Um, and then I'm just gonna turn, you can't. Do you want me to check any measurements for you? I can. This shelf Not looks like, like it's about six feet tall and a 24 and a half inches wide. And behind here we have a really pretty um, console table or, you know, it's more of an entertainment table for TVs and stuff on there. Um, and it's, I, I'd say it's like a gray brown. Yeah, it's nice because it would match both browns and grays and blacks, depending on what you would like, what kind of black and brown you like to use for your home. And it's five feet? Five feet, 60 inches. 60 and inches, so we're gonna say that's probably gonna max out a 60 inch TV. Uh, if you don't wanna put more than that on it. It can hold the weight, don't get me wrong, but uh, it, the feet, little, little feet will fall off the sides. <laughs> I wanna showpiece this just because we pulled it out um, and found it out of a box yesterday. It's this really gorgeous wall decor piece. You know, it would look good this way as well as this way. And it's how much on Wayfair? Um, actually on Amazon even, on it's Amazon. 175. On Wayfair, it's 250. And at Jack's, it's 75 bucks. So that's a really cool fun decor piece where you just only have to put up one thing instead of having to do three or four. So that's really fun. So we're just gonna keep moving down my little row here. There's a nice white nightstand if you need a new nightstand, Gabriella. We can't quite see that. There we go, thank you. And just above it then is you're, you're gonna see this corner table. Behind that, we have a signature design by Ashley Table. We that's actually have the table that's out front. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, so okay. we have an extra if you want the one out front or you can take the one in box. Depends on if you like your stuff already put together or not. We've had a, we have a lot of people interested in bar stools, counter stools. So I want to just kind of talk about those for a few minutes because we do have them on sale as well. So this as an example is 26 inches. So this would be counter height. Is I've gotten a lot of interest off of these four because it is a set of four and there are a hundred dollars for all four. Again, we're talking counter height here, guys. This is 24 inches. It's gray. There are four of them. They do not swivel. I think we had that question. They do not swivel. The bottom are black. Um, they've got some seams and, and sewing around here with some cording. They're really quite nice. So this set in our sale would be $100? Yes, for all four. For all four. So again, counter height, 20, what did you say, 26 inch? 24. 24 inch. I'm gonna move, move these out of the way so you can see some of the others we've got here. Look at all my chairs. So there are some nice mission style here with, this is a brown vegan leather um, seat. Um, do you want me to, which way should I, oh, this. that way. Okay, Alexis, you go that way. I like this chair. It's really comfortable. It's, oh, that's the Ronald. It, yes, it is the Ronald. It came from Wayfair. It's only, it does have a bit of a, a damaged back on it, so it this does. item is only $50. Really? Um, you wouldn't guess that it has a damaged back to I it because to you it. can't even feel it. But if you do pull it right there, you can, yeah, it is okay. broken. So it is, it's not going to be suitable for somebody who's um, just on the bigger side. But honestly, I was just sitting here. I had no idea. Do you want me to go on to your other favorite chair, everybody's favorite chair? We've got a nice bar stool here, 26 inches. My bad, counter size, counter height. It's got a nice wood uh, wood base. Great accent piece. Yeah, it is. It's totally awesome accent piece. If you only have, if you have a short um, counter space or you don't have the full island thing that everybody seems to be going to, this is a good option for um, small counters in the kitchen. I'm going to 
going to sneak back here with my tape measure in case there's something in particular. Um, this looks like a, a nice student chair <laughs> or a chair by the front door so you can... Oh yeah, put your you, shoes on. Can you see the clear chairs? No, <laughs> you can't see them. I love the clear chairs. We do have acrylic chairs in both dining height as well as counter height. This white one is 28 inches. This would be this would be bar height. Yes. Okay. Um, behind it, I have another one. It's kind of an ivory color, a winter white color, also bar height. I've got a gold and a silver here that's very um, contemporary. This, I don't even know if I'd call it silver, but again, um, this one is at 25 inches. I think mean, you could probably get away with that one almost either direction, either counter or high. That item is $120 on Wayfair. Um, we believe the reason that we got them is because somebody ordered two of either gray or of gold, but they got one of each instead. So now we have one of each. And they're $25 or sorry, $30 each. Or $50 for both if you can make both work. Um, do we have any more of this? Just yes, one of we this. have two of those. I thought we had two this of these. Out. Oh, okay. This has got a nice gold base, gold legs on it. This is bar height. We're 29 inches on this. It's got a coupe design on the seat and on the back. And it's gray. And I don't know if I would what I would call this fabric other than felt fuzzy. <laughs> it feels nice. But we do have two of those. They do qualify for our chair sale. You can have them both for $50. I've got two bar stools back here. Can you describe these for me, Gabriella, or do you want me to manual? Those are farmhouse style swivel bar stools. Um, they do raise and lower, and they have a gray wood seat on them. Oh, they do. They have the spinning. Um, so, unfortunately, guys, my computer is starting to die. Oh, and gosh, since I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk so long. We're on the move. There's a couple of one more, one or two more things that Alexis wants to show you. So we're going to follow her for a second. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys a couple more things um, before we log off. So I do have some special deals on bicycles. Um, so the bicycles are, this is originally $120, but uh, it's only seven. Wait, how much is... How much is this bike normally? It's, the, it's normally $150 at oh. Target and it's $75 today. So it's $75 today um, and it's normally $150. Um, and then we also have this uh, small green Schwinn here that has um, tricycle, or not tricycle, uh, training, wheels. training wheels on it, which are easy to take off. So if your little boy wants um, a nice cute bike, but doesn't want the training wheels, they're an easy pop off. And this bike is only $30 today. So that's a really great deal in getting your kids outside while it's nice out. Um, and then we're just gonna go right into my store, but the store isn't like completely finished. So, you know, I've got stuff on the ground, so don't judge me. Our bathing suit sale is still happening. So guys, um, I just wanted to end it all by showing um, that our store and some of our little pieces that we have in here, these are just to showcase um, some of the things that we that we have found. Um, we do have our bathing suits going on. They all or, are organized by uh, size, so if you want to come in and you want to just uh, look through every piece that's your size, we are more than happy for you to do that. Um, and we also have, you know, this table that we were showing you that we have in box, we also have it here in the store, um, a vanity. This is a pioneer woman, Lazy Susan, we found. We, yeah, we do find things that are named brand um, and that are just new and fun. Um, we have a whole pet section, family section, dining room, kitchen, bathroom, whatever section you're looking for in your house, we've got it. Um, so if you want to just come out and hang out with us one day, come see us. It'd be awesome. What's the address? Our address is 4310 Illinois Road. Um, 2202 is our suite number. It's at the very end. You have to go past the pond and past the old Staples building to be able to find us. I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you just hear, if you just come on a twist with me, I've got flags hanging out my front, my front door. 
and you should be able to find me that way. So, um, it was really great talking to you guys. It was really great showing you all these different kinds of things. But that's the pond. Make sure you come back and you come back to the back of it and all the way down um, at the end of the building. That's where we are. They're kind of put us a little hidden, but we aren't. We're here for you. We're here until 6. So 4310 Illinois Road. And the door's unlocked. Sweet 2202. Um, no more restricted access. So and bring your kids. Bring your kids. Come and check out what we got. So it was really nice to hang out with you guys today. See you soon. Bye, guys.